Pre-order my new book, The Body and the Cosmos at NadiaShaw.com and get free gifts. Hello, fabulous superstar Leo. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is a month like this that does promise you truly big successes, but also some private realizations as well. On the one hand, you're going within, you're looking at what's happening on the home front, but at the same time, a truly big move could transpire for you now, a career success or an alignment with life purpose that feels especially rewarding and can change your circumstances for the better for a long time to come. So let's start there. On the career front, in the middle of the month, we have got this month's full moon. Now, this full moon is happening right around the 12th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. And it is happening at the very top of your sky. This is a part of the sky that has to do with career, social standing, life purpose. It has to do with your relationship with bosses and people in positions of authority as well. Now, this full moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Saturn and Pluto. Now, that's all about the power move and the long-term gain. Developments now have the potential to bless your life, to improve your life for a very long time to come. If there are any interview or audition types of situations, promotion situations, you've got that much more cosmic support to have things go in a way that you like. And of course, personally, if it is that you've been hoping to make changes to align with your clarity of life purpose that much more, this is a sense of transformation that improves your life and improves your inner life at the same time. There is a harmonious alignment with Neptune as well that gives this a spiritual component, a sense of you feeling blessed by what is transpiring now. Now there's another layer of what is taking place now and that is Mercury retrograde. Mercury retrograde is exactly opposite this full moon. And that Mercury retrograde is happening at the very foundation of your sky. So if it is that you have a home-based business or you work with homes, you've got that much more cosmic support for success at this time. The other ways in which this energy can bless your life, well, it has to do with you having a sense of where it is that you've been, perhaps being connected to members of your family as well, and that being part of ultimately what helps clarify your pathway forward. Now, whether that's your ancestors or whether that's just having a conversation that gives you another perspective, it is this Mercury retrograde that in some way is going to help you to understand where you've been and where you come from can actually serve where it is that you are going. Now, as we move later into the month, uh, that is when we are going to have this month's new moon. The new moon happens right around the 26th of the month and it is happening in fellow fire sign Sagittarius. I think you are going to love this energy. This is a sense of your heart awakening at this time. Now, of course, there's a love way to understand this and I'll talk about that a little bit later, but there's also a way to understand this that has to do with you being aware of what your heart wants in every area of life. So whether this is you moving towards the things you are passionate about, moving towards what is creatively rewarding for you, and you doing more of what's fun, all of that is very blessed around this new moon. And not only blessed, but there's a lot of healing at this time as well, thanks to a beautiful alignment between this new moon and Chiron. Now, what we are going to have leading up to this new moon two days earlier will be a meeting of Venus and Jupiter. Now, yes, that is called the most romantic day of the year. I'll talk about that just in a little bit. But this is also a sense of blessings, a sense of you recognizing that you've been on a journey over the last year of Jupiter moving through this same part of the sky that the new moon is in. And this is what I consider sort of a cherry on top moment. And so for some of you, if you have children or you want children, it is this new moon that promises some really lovely developments that can take place for you at this time. For those of you who are involved in a creative project or you use your creativity to your advantage, this can be some wonderful developments on that front as well. Blessings can find you at this time. If it is just that you wanna use this energy to have fun and to know more of what it is that you really do want, 
in every area of life, you've got that much more cosmic support at this time as well. Now, this part of the sky is sometimes connected to self-employment, where self-employment is about you following your passion. And if that's you, this can be a time of new beginnings and big rewards as well. Now, where it comes to matters of love, the most romantic day of the year is going to speak to you romantically more than just about any other sign out there because this is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with flirtation and romance and what it is that the heart truly desires. You add to this Mercury retrograde at the very foundation of your sky and you are one of the signs most likely to reconnect with people from your past. If you're open to meeting someone new, yes, Romantic surprises can find you, like literally find you, based on people that you knew in the past, way in the past, knew before. But I would also add, especially once we get later into the month, this most romantic time of the year, it looks like you are getting your flirt on and as a result may very well connect with someone where you feel that there certainly is potential to go further. For those of you who are in not an established bond, but just starting to date somebody, I feel like this energy in the second part of the month is gonna bless you especially. It is those of you just dating someone who's going to find this to be an especially fun time, an enjoyable time. A time where not only are you learning more about this person, but truly finding yourself nurturing a love, growing a love because of the time that you share. And for those of you in an established bond, uh, I do feel like this beautiful connection of Venus and Jupiter is going to help you to remember the love that you share that much more and help the two of you feel connected that much more as well. Make sure you're planning to do fun things together as we move into the second part of the month because it is in those moments that love is nurtured and solidified that much more. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there is so much here, but I'm gonna say that fun energy in the second part of the month, of course, yes, we have this beautiful energy of success and growth, this energy of acceleration on your career path and your life purpose path right around the middle of the month, but the energy turns decidedly towards your heart, towards joy, and towards enjoying your life as we move later into the month. And it is by trusting what it is that is joyous to you that you find even more reasons to celebrate. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.